Magnaman of Outer Space. The year 2000. A dangerous robot on the loose. Magnaman. Jimmy Sparks and Gigantor. An emergency, Jim. What's the crisis, sir? Bad news. Magnaman is back. More trouble with that robot? Oh, he's really on the rampage this time, Jimmy. He's simply wild. He completely destroyed the new Streamline Express, and there's no telling what he's going to hit next. Let's have a meeting. Find a way to put Magnaman out of commission, Inspector, once and for all. You bet. Jimmy and Inspector Blooper call an emergency conference. At the same moment, on the ocean nearby, Magnaman strikes again. saw a strange robot? That was one of my detectives. He saw Magnaman out near the Crank Robot Factory. Dr. Shirley Crank is the owner of that robot factory. I've heard of Dr. Shirley Crank. He's a mad scientist who's just wild about robots, and I know he has quite a collection of them. Magnaman included, do you think? Yeah, of course. Hey, I would bet he's got that robot, Jim. Then he's responsible for Magnaman's actions. You all look into this Crank's case. You see, Scourge, with Magnaman, I can make all my dreams come true. Just what do you plan to do, Dr. Crank? Look! The Eiffel Tower in Paris. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Pyramids on the Nile. Scourge, these are just a few of the world's great masterpieces. There are many others, like the Statue of Liberty. So what, Dr. Crank? I hate them all because each one was created by man, so therefore I will not allow them to exist because I hate all men. I shall see that they're destroyed soon by my robot, Magna Man. I want to help. All right. You stay and take care of the robots in my factory, and I'll go out with Magna Man to see that he accomplishes every one of his missions. What do you plan to have him hit first? The television transmitting tower. But, Dr. Crank, no one in town will be able to watch Gigantor. That's my plan. I want to make just as many people unhappy as I possibly can, because I hate people, understand? But I'm always willing to play fair. I've already notified the police that I'm going to attack the television tower tomorrow, and they can try and stop me if they want to. Urgh. Scourge, this will be the beginning of a dream come true when Magnaman attacks at noon tomorrow. <laughs> the television transmitting tower. was on the level, Jimmy. Guess I'd better call Gigantor right away.
Oh, get him out of the way first, Magna Man. X007, X007, Magna Man. Man anymore. He's gone. Better send Gigantor after him. He could be on his way to destroy something else. No, Inspector, I don't think so. I think that Magna Man's head was damaged by a blow when he was fighting Gigantor. And now it's too late for Gigantor to catch him. <laughs> Smarty Gigantor, once I get Magna Man repaired, you're not going to be able to fly so high. about Magna Man to defeat him, Dr. Brilliant. This much we do know. His head is his weak point. You agree with me on that, don't you? Yes, I do, because electronic brains like his are always sensitive instruments and are easily damaged so they can't respond. I saw Dr. Crank with a code book and the secret numbers in it seemed to give instructions to Magna Man when he heard them called out, Doctor. Well, that must mean that Magna Man has operated on some kind of sound wave technique. I've got to find a way to get hold of that secret code book somehow. Now, don't do anything foolish, Jimmy. I'm going to get to work on a counter sound wave ray gun. That's a good idea. My gun will intercept the instructions to the robot, and if it does, the secret code book will be practically useless. Terrific, Dr. Brilliant. Wish it were finished already. It will be. The laboratory at Dr. Crank's robot factory. One of Magna Man's screws is loose, that's all it is. I can have it fixed up by tomorrow, Doc. Hmm, that's good. I plan to take him away as soon as he's ready on a little trip. The next day, spying on Dr. Crank, one of Inspector Blooper's detectives. Crank just left in his car. I'll follow him. Dr. Crank is followed to International Airport. Detective Snoop calling headquarters. Hello. Headquarters? Yes. You say that you saw Dr. Crank boarding a plane? Where was he headed? Oh, thanks for calling. Jimmy! Your report just came in that Dr. Crank took off from International Airport to go to Fairground City. Now's our chance.
Jimmy and Dick Strong go to the home of Dr. Crank to search for the secret code book. The house is deserted, except for the chauffeur, Axel Droop. Stick him up. <clears throat> Quiet. Yes, sir. Let me go. You won't get away with this. You're in for a little surprise. Surprise! Up with your hands! I'm not such a troop. Get out of those stairs! And no funny business, you two! Dr. Crank got away with it again, didn't he, Jim? He sure did. That code book we found must have been a phony one. Dr. Crank outsmarted us. Why in the world is Dr. Crank so bent on destruction? No, oh, he's wacky. Because he's mad at the world. He wants to make everyone unhappy. That's why he's trying to wreck everything. Let's cramp Dr. Crank's plans before he can do it. Let's attack his factory, take a patrol, and see that all his helpers and robots are rounded up so we can't use them to help him destroy anything else. Let's hurry. Dr. Crank's workers, now hear this. You're under arrest. You'll have to come out with your hands up. <laughs> They'll throw up their hands when they see this. <laughs> Charge! There's nobody here! The place is deserted! Watch your step, it may be a trap. <gasps> Hero 
robot. I'm going to show him a thing or three. Scourge releases Dr. Crank's collection of robots. <laughs> destroying them all. As long as we have Magnum as guides, don't worry. We're safe, I know. But that giganter's tougher than I thought he was. Here they come! Keep your hands in the air! Oh. <laughs> What's the matter, Inspector? <laughs> Jimmy... Yeah, how can we be sure? Hmm? Sure of what? Sure of Magnum Man. He'll attack again. Oh, I'm sure of that. But do you think Giganter can lick him? Oh, yes, sir. He can. In his laboratory, Dr. Bob Brilliant is hard at work on the counter sound wave ray gun. It finished, Jim. You mean the ray gun's ready? Mm -hmm. Golly, we'll win now. Jimmy, mm -hmm. there's something I must tell you. Mm -hmm. Jim, I'm not certain that it's going to work. Oh, I am. You're the greatest, Dr. Brilliant. <laughs> Rector, my precious robots. Ah. Hello, this is Jimmy Sparks. Who is this? Dr. Crank. Yes, I want to warn you that I'm going to destroy the television transmitting tower at noon tomorrow, and this time your robot giganta better not get in my way, or Magnum Man will destroy him too. We'll be waiting for you, Dr. Crank. The next day at noon, the television transmitting tower. Magnum Man, Jim! Gigantor, after him! understand what it does. Me either. Bob, just how does the ray gun work? The counter sound wave ray divides the sound wave. Yo, people, what good does that do? When Dr. Crank sends out his instructions in the secret code, the sound waves must contact the electronic brain of the robot to work. We're preventing that. 
Magnum Man's electronic brain doesn't know how to respond when the counter sound wave ray gun keeps him from hearing his instructions properly. Very good. Come out, Dr. Crank, wherever you are. It's my duty to arrest you. Look out, he's blowing it up. <laughs> Factory's gone. He must have realized how much harm it did. I removed Magna Man's electronic brain and his firing mechanism, so now he's as harmless as a puppet on a string. Now what's going to happen to Magna Man, Jim? He's going back to the planet Magnaports, back to outer space where he belongs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gigantor escorts Magna Man to the threshold of outer space. Now Gigantor heads back toward Earth and another exciting adventure. Mm -hmm.